Now, much has been said in recent months of Donald Trump and Russian President Vladimir Putin seeing eye to eye on multiple issues of a close friendship between them as well, which was claimed by Trump himself and of Trump having the say to end the war in Ukraine. Now, a new book by American journalist Bob Woodward makes that takes that even further. Here's more on this. Take a look at this report. Veteran journalist Bob Woodward's book titled War, set for release, claims Trump secretly sent medical equipment to Russian President Vladimir Putin for COVID tests. It claims Trump and Putin may have spoken as many as seven times since 2021. Putin is said to have accepted Trump's offer of sending COVID tests, but he warned Trump not to reveal the details of the supplies that could lead to a potential political backlash adversely impacting the former US president. On its part, the Kremlin accepts medical equipment was sent, though it rejects the idea of frequent discussions between the two. Trump's team terms the Trump-Putin interactions diplomacy. So have I, have I talked to Donald Trump about his calls with Vladimir Putin? No. I've never had that conversation with Donald Trump in my life. But if Donald Trump, even if it's true, look, is there something wrong with speaking to world leaders? No. no? Is there anything wrong with engaging in diplomacy? The Trump-Putin romance, as it has come to be known, goes back several years now. Trump praised the Russia president as a genius and pretty savvy when Russia invaded Ukraine in early 2022. The former president has often boasted that he would end the war in a day if he entered the White House again. That has sparked fears that Trump would help Russia achieve a favorable peace deal by cutting off aid to Kyiv. His opponents have raised fears of another Trump presidency being in Moscow's favor. The Trump-Zelensky meet in New York last month said much. Trump told Zelensky he would work with both Ukraine and Russia to end their conflict, even as he stressed that he had the equation with Putin to do it. So we have a very good relationship, and I also have a very good relationship, as you know, with President Putin. And I think uh, if we win, I think we're going to get it resolved very quickly. Very well. I really think we're going to get it resolved. I hope we have more good relations. We're going to have. Oh, I see. Yeah. 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 You, you, but, you but, you know, it takes two to tango, you know, and. We will, uh, we're going to have a good meeting today. There's no denying that this Trump-Putin equation has a role to play in the U.S. elections to come. To what degree it works for Trump and how much against him remains to be seen. Bureau Report, Beyond World is One.